Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For some reason, every time I like start to film an intro, I always want to be like Matt Bellasai and be like, hello everybody, but you know, I don't have wine in my hand and I'm not in an office, so that and I'm not Matt Bellasai. For today's video, I wanted to show you guys some money saving tips for broke college students. I know some days are better than others, but being a college student, you have a lot to pay for and not necessarily we don't necessarily have like the extra cash to just be throwing around. I don't know if you're anything like me at least. I wrote down some tips that I thought were pretty helpful for saving money or earning money, but these are more so saving, but let's get started. First is to sell the clothes that you don't like or you don't wear as much anymore on an app such as like Vinted or Poshmark. I know that there are quite a few of them. I know there's one called Mercury. I don't personally like that one because I had a really bad experience on there, but that's not this video. But I literally use Vinted all the time. Like that's my main source of where I sell things. So I sell purses, clothes, jewelry. I think you can sell men's clothes, kids' clothes, anything like that on there. Or if you're looking for an item, you can try Vinted first because a lot of the items are gently used. Some of them are really like gross and weird, but I personally like to shop on there and I actually bought a Kate Spade purse from there for relatively cheap and it was actually brand new so that is an option. I know I used to make a lot of money on there but I don't really have that much items up anymore. People use those resale apps to get some extra cash on the side and also clean out your closet. The second tip I have is to DIY before you buy. So I personally like to change up my room quite often and now that I have an apartment I always see like really cute furniture pieces that I think would be so cute in my apartment but a lot of the times furniture can be super expensive so you can find tutorials on Pinterest and YouTube that are relatively inexpensive I just made like a little coffee table shelf type of thing um, that is out in my living room and I'll definitely show you guys that sometime but I will leave the link to the video that I watched to make it but I think it was really cute it was very affordable and I don't know it just adds something different instead of buying it all the time but it actually doesn't take that long but if you aren't the very crafty person this tip probably isn't for you the third tip I have is kind of silly but it's to unplug your appliances when you're not using them even if you don't have your TV turned on or your lamp turned on it, it still does use electricity when you keep the plug in the outlet so I don't necessarily know how much it saves. It might save you a few cents on your electric bill, but hey, that's something. My next tip is to keep a change jar. I know I personally hate change, so anytime I get change, I will take it, put it in my wallet, and then when I get home, I'll put it in this little like change jar I have in my kitchen, and then once it fills up, you can um, cash that, and I know that my family has done this forever. That's kind of how I like learned this tip was from my parents, but we used to cash it before vacation, and you literally have $300 Full in this change jar so it does take a while to add up obviously to that amount but if you keep just a little change bag either in your car or your house you can probably get a good 30 to 50 dollars out of there so that adds some extra cash in a way that you probably wouldn't think that you already had the next one is to do no spend weeks or months so there are different ways to do this but the ones that I personally would participate in is to not buy like frivolous items such as makeup hair products um, clothing items and stuff like that but a no spend month is to basically cut down on your expenses and not purchase items that you don't absolutely need this next tip um i don't really utilize it often but you actually would be surprised by how many stores do participate in this a lot of stores have student discounts you can just look it up by typing in stores with student discounts and i know a few that have a student discount are like steve madden j crew I can't think of any off the top of my head, but if you ask them in store, usually they will let you know. This next tip is for textbooks, and I have said this before, but use Chegg and Valor Books and the resale websites to buy and sell your textbooks. I know personally I tried to sell a textbook at my university bookstore when I was in the class, and it was probably worth $5 there. I looked online and it was worth like $20, so bookstores definitely do kind of um, rip you off in a way, so definitely check those websites for discounted prices or to get your money for your old books. If you're anything like me, you love going out to eat and doing all those fun things with friends, so definitely find restaurants that have student discount days or college days. So I know we have like a burger place in my hometown that does like Thursdays or college night, so you get a discount off your meal. You can go out with your friends whilst you're getting food, but obviously it's kind of a treat, like you wouldn't want to do this every day. And this last tip is huge, make your own coffee at home. I know it is so hard to get up 10 minutes earlier to make a cup of coffee, but I do this every morning and it saves me $5 every single day. If you buy a box of Keurig, 
K-Cups, it's like, what, $11, $12, and that is like two and a half cups of coffee. Excuse me, what? I know a lot of like the K-Cup boxes come with quite a few packs, but you can actually do a little hack here, and if you or your parents have a Sam's Club or a Costco membership, you can find K-Cups for so inexpensive. And I know the ones that I really like are the McDonald's K-Cups, which is so weird and gross. I know McDonald's is uh, you, but these actually taste really good, and if you get the right creamer, I'm telling you, better than Starbucks. I actually don't even like Starbucks. I like caribou coffee, so if you like caribou, let me know in a comment. But I know that our university um, coffee shops were outrageously expensive. I know it was like $5 for a small cup of coffee, so I don't even know how much a large was, but that's just crazy, and I don't have the money for that, so... Yeah, just make your own copy. Those are all of my money saving tips. If you guys have a tip that I missed, leave it in a comment for everyone else to see. And also, let me know what kind of videos you want to see. I said that in my last video, but I really want to know what you guys want to see. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.